What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinBarTech.com and this is my first Unix shell scripting tutorial. If you guys are running OS X or if you guys are using a Linux distro, you can skip this step completely and go to the next video. But if you guys are running Windows, you're going to need to follow along and uh, there's a few things we're going to need to download. The first thing we're going to need to download is something called VMware Player. And the second thing we're going to download is something called Backtrack 5R3. It's a uh, Linux distro. We're going to be using this Linux distro because I think it's the best. And uh, yes, yeah, so let's get started. So first, let's open up our browser. Let's go to uh, Google search. And in Google search, we're going to type in VMware. We're going to hit enter. It's the first link. So just click on the first link here. We're going to hover over downloads. And we're going to go to the free product downloads part here and on the last last one it should be say player so click on player all right so now if we we're running windows we want to download this uh link here so click on this link right here and it's going to start downloading it should take like a minute or two to start downloading so once it's finished downloading we're going to start the next one i've already finished my download so i'm just going to cancel it and move on to the next download so now we're going to delete our address bar and we're going to type in Google. And then we're going to run a search for back track five. So let's hit enter. It should be the first link. So yeah, it's the first link. Download backtrack Linux. Click on that. We're going to go all the way down and uh, click on this download link here. Uh, there's a few uh, drop boxes here. We're going to click on the first one. We're going to make sure we select backtrack 5 R3. We're going to make sure we uh, GNOME is selected. And uh, depending on your system architecture, if you're running a 32-bit architecture, you're going to want a 32-bit version here. If you're running a 64-bit uh, operating system, then you're going to want to click on that right here. Now, the quickest way to find out if you guys are unsure is you could go to uh, Control Panel. Doesn't matter what type of Windows version you're running, just go to Control Panel, click on System, then click on System again. And under uh, System Type, it should say either 32 bit or 64 bit. I'm running a 64 bit operating system with a 64 bit processor, so I'm going to pick the 64 bit version. Then we're going to make sure ISO is selected, then we're, going to hit, then we're going to hit click on Download. It should start up in a second. All right, so you're going to let this one download. Now, this is a big download. It's about 3.1 gigabytes. Now, depending on your internet speed, it should take a few hours to like a whole day to download it. Now, once that's finished downloading, I'm going to I'm gonna cancel mine because I already downloaded mine. So once you finish downloading both those files, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, install VMware Player. So double click on the EXE. Click Yes. Let it run. Click next, click on I accept, click next, click next again, click next, click next, click next. Continue. You're going to let it load. It should take a minute or two. Now once that's finished, you're going to click on finish. Now you should see a new uh, desktop icon, VMware Player. Now we're going to launch VMware Player. So let's click on the desktop icon. Now. I already created a few virtual machines, but I'm going to walk you through the process. Now, to create a new one, we're going to click on create a new virtual machine. Since our, our file is a ISO file, we're going to click the second option, install disk image file here. We're going to browse for our uh, ISO image that we downloaded, the uh, backtrack 5. I have mine here in the desktop. So we're going to select that, click open, click next, uh, select Linux and Ubuntu 64-bit or 32-bit or regular Ubuntu if you uh, if you have a 32-bit. Ubuntu 64-bit is fine for me, so I'm going to click on Next. Click uh, Now, virtual machine name. You could give it any name you want. I'm going to call mine back track 5R3. Yeah, I'm going to click on Next. Now, I recommend you, you click on Store Virtual Disk as a single file. 20 GBs is fine, so click on Next. Uh, click on Finished. Now, we have a 
this new virtual machine. Now, before we uh, click on play virtual machine, I want to edit a few things. So we're going to click on edit virtual machine settings here. All right, by default, it's going to give uh, this virtual machine one gigabyte of memory, which is not that much at all. I recommend changing it to two gigabytes. You can do that by just clicking on memory, then uh, moving this little arrow thing to, uh, to two gigabytes. Now we're going to click on play virtual machine. So let's hit play. Uh, you don't have to install anything. So you just click on remind me later. Now we're going to get to the screen where uh, it ends with this boot and colon and this thing here. We're going to click on, see right now I'm able to click outside to the, to our windows desktop. But once we click onto uh, this virtual machine, now uh, to get back to, now we won't be able to get back to the desktop T to get back to our normal desktop we have to click on control and alt together now I could, I could get back out of this uh, virtual machine but once we uh, to, to interact with the virtual machine you have to first click into it now once you get to the screen here make sure you select the first option default boot text mode hit enter uh, it should uh, start up it's gonna like loads a bunch of different things. It'll take about a second to do so. Now I love Backtrack Five. The design is just great. I, I this is my favorite Linux distro. I, I recommend it, and it has a lot of neat tools. We, we're gonna talk about later on. Now once you get to this spot here, where it says root bt, we're gonna t type in start x. So s t a r t x. Remember that every time we get to the screen, I'm gonna click on start x, hit enter, and now it's gonna run the OS. Now, this is where we're going to be doing most of our work here. Like I said before, you're going to click on this uh, terminal here. And this is where all the lessons will take place. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.